and I rise up, rise like the day, I rise up, in spite of the ache, I rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. Hey guys, welcome to The Sauce. Today we have Sarai Kumu. Hey. Thanks for How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> um, people know you as the girl from Britain's Got Talent yeah. who got the golden buzzer, but who is Sarai Kumu? Uh, I would say Sarai Kumu is just an 18-year-old chill girl, likes to have time to herself, likes to have fun, but I think I'm quite a shy person, but once I get to know you, I'm all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Describe yourself in three words. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I would say I'm kind. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say I'm generous and then I'd say I'm fun as well. You mentioned somewhere that you started out doing covers and you started out really young yeah. singing. How was that like for you? How was your childhood? Um, my child childhood was really good. I always used to sing like when I was young. I think like my parents never actually bought me toys. <laughs> so I used to play with the karaoke yeah. microphone. So I always used yeah. to sing like for the guests. And uh -huh. then I started singing off in church. And mm -hmm. really when I was like 12, 13, that's when I started singing like in the school concerts. And actually that was in Riara when I was living here for about two years. Oh wow. So that's when, really when I gained the confidence. But in terms of like my childhood, my parents have always been really supportive. My family have been really supportive. So I think they've always like encouraged me. Uh -huh. So there's singing run in the family? No, I'm actually the only one that sings. <laughs> I'm the only one that sings. Everyone asks and I'm like, uh -huh. I mean, my dad loves singing in the shower, but in terms of the vocals, yeah, no one has that. <laughs> no one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, describe three things that you felt when Simon pressed the golden buzzer. Right, okay. Um, excited, overwhelmed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and joyful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think, I think mostly overwhelmed. Have you ever watched um, that audition? Um, I think I've rewatched it once, but I don't like really listening to myself. <laughs> Why don't you? You sound I'm... so beautiful, <laughs> and like Simon said, yeah. you felt you you looked like you're possessed. Yes. <laughs> and then it's like you became possessed halfway through, <laughs> and you just went on yeah. and on and on. Mm -hmm. The people in the crowd who had doubts, yeah, but once you started singing, yeah, they were like amazed. <laughs> so why don't you um want to watch myself? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, I think it's because, okay, now it's a bit better, like now I can rewatch a little bit, but I think for me, I see like all the faults, everything like I could have done better, so it's like, no, 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 please, please, please. Like, if anyone puts it when I'm there, I actually just walk out of the room, I'm like, no thanks. So if I put it on right now, you just walk out of my interview? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like... Don't, get my I will do that, I will do that. <laughs> So you are, stu you are a student and yeah. you're also venturing into music. How do you juggle this thing? Um, right now, the I go to a sixth form. It's a performing arts sixth form, so they do dance, mm -hmm. um, singing and acting. Mm -hmm. But um, when I joined the school, um, they, I had a talk with them and I was like, sometimes I go off to performances or sometimes, you know, I might not be there. But they were really understanding and they were like, you know, we know that you're going through a lot. So anytime you have a performance or anytime you're doing stuff in music, we'll just let you off. So really, like anytime I need to do something, they're like, yeah, just go. Wow. So I'm like, wow. For me. I think <laughs> those are the best teachers I've ever had of <laughs> in this entire world. I know other teachers would be like, we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> like first school and then you can do that after you're done exactly, with schooling. Exactly. <laughs> right? Um, um, talking about music, mm -hmm. you just released your very first single, yeah. um, Save You. Tell us about it. What's, what was the inspiration? Um, do we see a video coming out soon? Um, okay, so with Save You, it's a, it's a soul slash pop song. Mm -hmm. I think the inspiration behind it was um, me, my producer, and the other writer called Callie Claire. Mm -hmm. We kind of just wanted to create something that was like really motivational, inspirational, but really in a fun way and something that you could vibe to. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of video, I think we're still kind of deciding. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe mm -hmm. not. Maybe. Who knows? Keep it a surprise. <laughs> Same for us, a little bit of Save You. Oh, oh my god, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> okay. 
save you, always there to save you. Nothing else can break you, nothing else can break you. Pieces, broken down to pieces. Everybody's weakness, everybody's got a weakness. Oh, I love that song, I love that <laughs> song. You should check it out on YouTube. Um, so do you have any more music coming out this year? What can we expect? Um, so right now, um, working on another single, mm -hmm. and hopefully um, before this year ends, I will have released an EP. Um, what's your take on mental health? It's it's such a big um, topic, and we're in the age where like many people are, uh, are suffering yeah. uh, because of depression, yeah. and they are killing themselves. They're doing all these things. Like, what's your take on it? I think mental health is like very very important, and it's only like now when i've started realizing it myself and it's like mm -hmm. it's very real i've had a couple of friends who have gone through depression mm -hmm. and i think uh, with, with some of these things like you can't help it like some of these different reasons like for some reason for some people it's social media some people it's just life but i think the main thing is is to seek help definitely because i feel like if you don't like you're not the only person in that situation so i feel like number one seek help and then sometimes the people who are like even suffering they don't really know so i feel like um for example like with me if, if i feel like my friends are acting a bit odd or they're not acting mm. the same i feel like you should always ask them you should always ask how people are doing because it's so important i think people take it very lightly but it can come to like bad circumstances where you're killing yourself so i think it's really important and people should take it more importantly have you ever been bullied on social media no i, I don't know i've never been bullied actually I oh, think wow. I've been quite lucky. <laughs> I've been bullied. <laughs> yeah. But if someone's like written like a weird comment, I just block them. Mm -hmm. just, I don't have that time. <laughs> <laughs> Still on that note, can you imagine that according to a recent story on Washington Post, um, there's a new research that claims people are growing horns due to mobile phone use. What do you mean? Horns. We are growing horns because we're using mobile phones. So like the, do you mean like the the acting, the like acting up because? No, they they are actually growing horns, like our backbones. Uh -huh. oh. I think the way we like, oh, cause like hunch or yeah. something like that. Oh, do you know what? Horns. I actually think that, yeah, that's actually true. Because I feel like sometimes like when you're on the phone, you, you just like sit like that. So uh -huh. a lot of the times I actually have to remember like. To it's kinda good like posture, that. people, good, good posture. posture. Yeah. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> what is um, the advice that you'd give to budding musicians like you? Um, the advice I'd give is, I think main thing, just go for it. I feel like a lot of people, you know, like they're always scared. And like mm -hmm. one thing I've also noticed, like even, it's all over the world really, and even like Africans as well, but like in Kenya, like, some of my friends I've heard like they want to do it but their friends are like no you mm -hmm. need to you need to do this but I feel like if you know you want to do something then you need to go for it because like it's your life and you only live one life mm -hmm. so you've got to go for it but work hard um be patient because I feel like sometimes you know you look at an artist and you see the big things but they've been through a lot they go through like um uh, many rejections so always hard work patience and just keep the faith really wow such good advice <laughs> um going back to performances you performed at various places yeah. including Wembley um what is your best performance yet I did a performance at the Hamptons and it was called Apollo at the Hamptons mm -hmm. so um it there's there's loads of major artists so when I went there was Jamie Foxx, Shaka Khan, wow. Pharrell, um, wow. Jimmy Fallon so mm -hmm. like getting to sing in front of them that was just highlight that was last year that was just highlight of my whole year yes yeah, so I would say that's my best performance yeah <laughs> what artists do you want to work with internationally or locally okay internationally has to be Beyonce she's the queen <laughs> so a hundred percent Beyonce mm -hmm. uh locally I would you say you don't want to work with Adele oh my god I feel like <laughs> you and <laughs> Adele <laughs> Same WhatsApp group, like yeah, yes. Now yes, I love Adele all too. Here for it. I love Adele too. I would definitely a hundred, a hundred and ten percent do something with Adele. Adele, Beyonce. I love. Do you know Fantasia? 
Yes, oh. I love Fantasia from way, way yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. And Oldie is here. Exactly. Oldie. And Bruno Mars. And then locally, I would say Saudi Soul or Nishinsky. Would love to say that. Would love to say that. You know, like the the comparison of this big artist and yeah. you. I think you just like match up. <laughs> I hope so. Yes. Hopefully, someday it will happen. I do mainly. Do you want to play any instruments? Um, I don't actually play any instruments, which I think is sad. But I'd learn. How, <laughs> I'd want to learn how to play the piano. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Exactly. You can like Alicia Keys. I'm just I was imagining just Alicia, Alicia Keys. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, it's so cool. I wish I learned when I was younger. Yeah. You you can still learn. Yeah, I can still learn. You're pretty young. You're only 18. True, we are true, old. True, true. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I've been in this world for longer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your voice has... Maybe. It has transcended <laughs> and reincarnated a few times because it sounds Maybe. very mature. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it does. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love being here. Hey guys, I am Sarah Kumi and I'm here at The Source, so be sure to subscribe for more content.